I'm Kevin Pang. I'm Jeffrey Pang. Today, my dad and I are going to make Chinese braised eggplants. It's a recipe so good, it's going to make you say, Wow, today's recipe is very good, very healthy, very healthy. My mother used to never tell me so much. What he said. Today, I'm going to make my son's braised eggplants. We love eggplants. They're meaty, they're creamy, they're a flavor sponge. And today we're gonna to do a very Chinese take on braised eggplants. We are gonna be using Chinese eggplants, but of course, if you can't find it, you can also use an Italian eggplant or globe eggplants or any eggplant you can find at a Western supermarket, right? Oh yes. You want to use as smaller as possible. It's about eight to 10 ounces. Okay. Anything over one pound is will turn to mushy. Yeah, we don't want mushy eggplants here. We are, of course, using Chinese eggplants today. You can tell by their beautiful lavender color, and they're a lot more slender than Western-style eggplants. So how can you tell if these are fresh? So you can tell by the color, and the skin is so shiny, uh -huh. and also, look at that, it's bouncing. Okay, all right, stop doing that. This is a family show, Dad. Let's cut these into planks. And the key here is we want to keep as much of the skin intact because that's what's going to hold the eggplant flesh together. And we're looking for three quarter inch pieces. So depending on the size of your eggplant, you can get about three or four long wedges from it. Beautiful. So take a look. This is exactly what we're looking for. You want it to be about three quarter inches across and you want as much of the skin intact as possible. This is going to get very creamy and the more skin that's holding the eggplant together, the more it's going to stay intact during cooking. Perfect, now that the eggplants are cut up, we're on to the sauce. The sauce cannot be any simpler. We're gonna start with water and to that we're gonna add Shaoxing rice wine, let soy sauce, Got a little bit of sugar. We have cornstarch. And we have spicy broad bean sauce. Now, this is used a lot in Sichuan cooking, right? Yeah, Sichuan cooking. It's called dao ban zhe. Okay, and what is it made out of? It's a fermented uh, broad bean and chili. Yeah, it smells really aromatic. There's a bit of sweetness to it as well, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this really smells like Sichuan food. Mm -hmm. So we'll add that to our sauce. And we're gonna whisk everything together until the sugar is dissolved. And how simple was that? Our sauce is pretty much done. We barely just started and we're already cooking this dish. I can't believe how fast this is taking. So my dad's got a 12 inch nonstick skillet. We've got vegetable oil over medium heat and we had minced some garlic and ginger together. So uh, let's get cooking. Okay. So this will take about 30 seconds or so. Let me add the ginger as well. Yeah, peace. We just want to get a little bit of the rawness out. All right, this looks ready. We're gonna add our eggplants. Mm -hmm. Now, it's gonna look like a ton of eggplants, which there are, but I shouldn't worry about that, right? Yeah, don't worry, it will shrink. It will shrink down, perfect, great. We wanna to try to leave this in a single layer and we don't wanna to touch it, right? Yes. Patience is patience. what you always taught me. Be patient. Be patient, son. Okay, great. Now is the time to pour the sauce. Okay, this is gonna act as a braising liquid. Mm -hmm. Wow. We want to try to keep the eggplants in a single layer, which it is, and it will shrink down, like my dad says. We're going to bring this up to a boil, and once it does come to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat, we're going to cover it, and we're going to let it simmer gently for 15 minutes. The key is to not touch it, right? Yes, don't touch it. Can I stir it? No, otherwise the skin will fall apart. Okay, but it is okay about once or twice, maybe halfway through, to give it a gentle shake, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Be patient. Be patient. Patience is the key. It's been 15 minutes. I've been waiting patiently. I have not stirred it once, like my dad says, only gentle shaking. Yes. Okay. 
Is this ready? Should we uncover this? Yeah, please. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> You're right, it has shrunken down a lot. Yeah, it absorbed a lot of sauce. Yeah, it's absorbed a lot of that yeah. sauce here. <laughs> now we're gonna continue simmering this uncovered, and how long should this take now? It's about 12 to 40 minutes. Okay, and we want the sauce to thicken mm -hmm. and to reduce, and uh, I still can't stir it, right? No, don't okay. do that. Just some gentle swirling. Yes. Okay, I still gotta be patient, but we're almost there, I can feel it. It's been another 14 minutes and the sauce has thickened up considerably. I have not stirred it. I've only given it some gentle swirls, but you can see some caramelly bubbles start to form. And so I think that means it's ready, right? Yes. Okay, great. It's time to eat. It's time to eat, finally. All right, a little bit of sesame oil. Just about a half a teaspoon, right? Yeah. Just a little bit. Not, not the whole bottle. Not the whole bottle, for sure. Great. And finally, do you want to do the honors, scallions? I do it? Yeah, sprinkle it. Okay. Yes. And that's it. Braised eggplants. Okay. Good job, high five. <laughs> want to try one? I can't wait. Yeah, let's do it. My son. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know what we need to do? Okay, do I have to do this like okay. that? Okay. Hold on. Do we need to hook arms? Oh, no. Are you sure? No. It's All right. My arm is too short. Okay, great. Let's try this. Mm. Yeah, most eggplants that I've had are super oily. Like many recipes, they just deep fry this in oil. And because eggplants are such a flavor sponge, it just, it just absorbs all the oil, right? But this recipe uses less oil. Mm. It's more healthy. Yeah. And the taste is so balanced, it's so good. Not so hot, not oily, it's so great. Perfect. I love it, I love this recipe. Yeah. And what's eggplant called in Chinese? Cantonese? Yeah. Ngai gua. What does that mean? <laughs> Ngai that means sharp. You can never grow tall. See, because you don't eat egg eggplant, you don't like eggplant, so that's why you told that me. I don't think that's uh, born out of science. If you eat eggplants, you're gonna be short the rest of your life. I don't trust that, you know? Yeah. My mom only only told me, you know, eggplant have a lot of fiber, vitamin, it's very good, good yeah. for health. Yeah, this is really delicious. It's very so. good. And it will not make you short. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite way to cook eggplants? Tell us in the comments below. And for this recipe and more, go to americastestkitchen.com. Please like this video and subscribe.